Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you are. But let's go ahead and talk about Stars Are Legion by Cameron Hurley. This is a book I've been waiting for for a long time now. I found out about this after Empire Ascendant and have been just waiting for it to come out. Stars Are Legion is what Cameron Hartley refers to as lesbians in space and it is her first space opera. It is about a woman named Zan who wakes up with no memory aboard a ship or maybe possibly a planet, she's not quite sure, that belongs to the Katazirna. The Katazirna are at war and Zan is desperately in love with the daughter of their ruler, a woman named Jade. Zan is extremely smart and tactical and very clever and Jade is clever and cold-blooded. The two of them have determined to make it onto the planet Makshi and from there they are going to save their world, which they refer to as the Legion. All oh, the things to say about this book. One, if you are not into body horror, this is not the book for you. The ships are made out of flesh and they respond as such. Their core is made up of bile and flesh and blood and it is very visceral. All of the characters are women but, but they become pregnant kind of at random to things that their world needs. They are women enslaved by their bodies and to their worlds and who are often injured because of so, not just physically but very much emotionally. Zan has no clue who she is, she just knows that she wants to be with Jade and that Jade needs her to take over the Makshi. When Jade sacrifices her essentially to the Recycler, which is the part of the world that consumes humans and remaining organs to put back into the world as it is, she has to go on an adventure. She's basically making her way up from the very belly of the beast to the surface. While trying to save Jade, she realizes many things about herself and about the universe in which she lives. The Legion is dying and Zan realizes that what she's been working for is the survival of her people and of the Legion as a whole. Holy shit. <laughs> this is a book. If you liked God's War, I think this is the perfect book for you. This is like, I, this is I think easily the best book that Hurley has done so far. It's the kind of thing that blends that like weird bio science, bio fantasy that she does with like a futuristic vibe. I really, really enjoyed reading it and Zan as a character is fascinating. She's determined and self-aware, aware of the fact that who she was before she lost her memory is probably not who she wants to be. Jade is cold-blooded and willing to sacrifice herself for anything. She's so Machiavellian. And Zan's awareness that she loves Jade despite who Jade is, is really fascinating. The plot is fantastic, but moreover the world building is just amazing. I think that the way that Cameron Hurley builds her world in this particular book is the best that she's ever done. Um, keeping in mind, of course, that it is gory and along the lines of body horror, and if you don't like that, this isn't going to be for you. I think this is the best she's done and I think this shows her being able to be cohesive and build fantastical worlds all in one which has been something she's struggled with in the past. Zan is so interesting as a character and moreover her kind of ragtag gang of women who she's bringing along with her on this adventure are amazing. They're all women who have deep emotional backgrounds and development and I was really impressed with the way that she kind of builds her crew. It does kind of have some of those like weird suddenly magic moments that don't make a ton of sense but they're few and far between and I think if you are a fan of Hurley or you're looking to get into Hurley this is definitely the one to pick up. 
There's so much going on in it and like it's just such a fun adventure story but with a, occasionally just the hint of the kind of thing that you love about Hurley where she makes you think. If you have read The Stars Are Legion, let me know what you think. If you're planning on reading it, let me know what you're looking forward to. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. You know the drill. Comment, like, and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.